Hi. So I'm following up on the video, the initial video I made, I made of um, major depressive disorder or, or MDD um, about treatments. Um, there, there are really two treatments that seems to be prevalent um, currently, in at least here, and based on my research. Um, and the the main the main one is uh medication uh seeing a psychiatrist and being medicated there are few um is right uh, medications out there and the one my friend's son is taking is um is a uh, is a medicine um there are other medications out there um, for antidepressant. Um, my, uh, you know, the medication should be a tool, um, considered a tool rather than a crutch or a way to, uh, minimize, uh, complete, you know, just minimize some of the symptoms because um, I think complete health or balance, just like how I like the balance of the five healths, well, there, the seven healths. Um, but, uh, you know, a balance should be struck and it shouldn't be heavily um, leaning to one side or the other. Or, uh, but it can as needed. So, at this stage of... of uh, my friend's son treatment is heavily leaned leaning towards um medication and my friend is not really happy about the results so far so uh medication i think by itself is good it, well it's not good enough it's one just one step of uh, one part of a of a whole um the other treatment that's used is um let me see what, what well there is a therapy uh where the kid can um or the persons who has the condition who was diagnosed with uh, in this case his son um can get uh th therapeutic help where they learn skills that allow them or help them manage um, or address certain issues that may pop up during uh, you know episodes or whatever it is just general or just life's uh, issues and by doing that it helps the the patient the be you know better cope along with the medication um, and I think those two together uh, imp are important, uh, but uh, as far as therapy for the patient, it's, it's, it seemed, at least in my friend's case, is something that was overlooked. And I had to make him aware that there are other things available out there besides just taking medicine. And there are other medicines available that he can uh, look at and ask questions about. And um, then there is, of course, there, there's therapy for the loved ones uh, like in this case my friend you know he's a single father so um so therapy for him that way he's able to vent his issues talk about things that's bothering him be uh, give him information that he can use immediately which will allow him to be empowered to ask questions and do and be able to look at what's going on in a different way um and that, in this case, is not even, wasn't even thought of. So um, that's the, thera the therapeutic side of things that should be considered. And um, of course, diet. I, I talk about diet a lot for, for fat loss. But diet, I think uh, we overlook it when it comes to diseases or mental issues. Whatever issues, you know, a lot of times we tend to not to exclude diet uh, or minimize it. And I'm not saying diet is the, you know, best thing since sliced bread. 
to um, or cure all, but it can be used as part of treatment. Um, increase the nutrient value of the foods we eat, um, water and things like that, we, you know, that, they, that we consume through vegetable juice or vegetable smoothies and things like that. And I highly recommend homemade stuff. And, and of course, probiotics. Um, I do not recommend the store-bought ones, but if it's pra more practical for you to get the store-bought ones, then yes, by all means, get that. But I prefer making it myself, and I would recommend other people to do the same. Um, there are a lot of talk uh, that, you know, you could get um, you know, contamination and things like that. So you, you, that can occur when you make food too, when you cook food. But nobody's saying don't cook food at home, go to the store and buy your food. So um, it's a food. So uh, those are, those are, that side of the diet, that side of, of the treatment diet, I believe is very, very important, equally as important as, as therapy and medication. And of course, exercise. With um, with the exercise, unlike diet, diet which doesn't show any, um, there are no research done or anything on diet, but there there there's some research that um, that show uh, a lot of universities do them, and you can go online and Google or look up, you know, major depressive disorder and exercise, and you will see a whole bunch of research and peer reviewed stuff too. Um, showing that exercise is a uh, has a positive impact on um, major depression depression disorder and so far in my in my research i haven't seen any downside to it whatsoever so those are the those those are the, the treatments that i look at uh, and i um um to be used and how I've advised my friend to look at all, you know, include all of those things as part of um, helping his son, giving his son, his son tools uh, to cope with with, um, with the, the major depressive disorder and exercise uh, being one of the major ones that can actually reduce the episodes um, in his son. So. Um, if you all have any questions, ask in the comment section below. Um, you like the video if you like it, and subscribe. Now, in the next video, I'm going to talk about um, where my friend is and where I want him to be um, as, f as far as his, rea his interaction, not only with his son, but with other people around him concerning his son. Uh, which I think is very, very important um, in how in reducing trauma, both the father and son, as or to anyone that's or that's living with or with somebody with the uh, with disorders such as that. So, you guys have a good day.